Welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Hopefully this will be a quick one. I just wanna show you a quick custom action that I created so that I can print effects onto the same items on the track. Okay, it's a really neat workflow. Let's check it out. All right, here is my Reaper project. And I've got this set up with an OBXD running through reinsert which is going to this pedal, the MXR Bass DI Plus, then the Hall of Fame Reverb, then that stereo out, so it's mono in, stereo out, to two inputs on my interface, and that's returning here on the hardware returns, mic line one and two. And on the second track, I've got speed drum set up here. So here's how it sounds without the hardware effects. Okay, and with the hardware effects. So I set up a workflow so that I can take this MIDI item, turn it into audio through hardware effects. It will be a real-time process, but I don't need to set up another track. I don't need to create a send. Um, all the menu diving that needs to be done is all done by the custom action. And of course, I will share this custom action. So this uses a couple Reaper features, the record output function, where you can take the output of a track and record it into itself. And along with that, the monitor media while recording. And when you use those together, the original media is playing, or the like in this case, it's the MIDI item through the instrument. And then that's also going to be recording as audio into itself without a feedback loop, which is kind of the key thing. Uh, but yeah, it just works. So I've got my all my audio routed and everything. I'm going to use my custom action, reamp single track stereo. Set track record mode to output stereo. Set track record output mode to post effects pre-fader. Set selected tracks monitor track media while recording and SWS set selected tracks record armed. Consolidating undo points, and that's it. So I could just hit record here, it'll come up as audio. And when I'm done, I just need to trim this out so that it uh, doesn't have a split there. I can trim this back if I want. Post recording, I run the second ap action here, post reamp. And that does a few things. Bypass all effects for selected tracks and set tracks record unarmed. So it disables the instrument and the effects, that hardware loop, plus it turns off record enable. Let's actually use the same routing, same effects on another instance of reinsert and this is on the drums now. And in this case, I wanna set my mix to about 75%, and let's hear how that sounds. All right, that sounds pretty cool to me. Let's render that. So again, I hit this reamp single track stereo that prepares the track for rendering or printing the effects in real time. Turn on my loop playback so that it'll record in a loop twice and I'll hit record. So when I'm done recording, I hit this post reamp action that takes off the effects loop and everything. And now I just have this media here. So if I wanted to use this in a project where I've got this uh, and I want to repeat it, I would just use take two as my uh, 
my second repeat, and it would just seamlessly loop from there. Basically, it's just that minor detail that the first um, the first hit of the drums wouldn't have reverb coming in until that drum starts, whereas the rest of the repeats, you want to have that uh, reverb already there. It can make a big difference when you're trying to seamlessly loop things. There's one more thing I want to add to this, and that's a prefix before I do the recording. So I want to know that these files are rendered through the effects. And the simplest way for me to do that is with the SWS cycle actions and the console commands. So first, let's go over to the SWS website, go to the reconsole page. And here I can see that I can prefix the track name with the letter B starting my console command. Right click in the left side, add cycle action, going to call this prefix dash re amp and then here console command console lowercase b re amp okay and apply that and if i select a track and run this cycle action that's given it the name re amp space speed run speed drum. Um, let's actually tweak this. I want this to be reamp dash and apply that and then run, let's reset this name and then run, there you go, reamp speed drum. And then as long as I have that inside of the uh, reamp action at the be somewhere in there before I hit record that will get printed into the file name. You could also use the word print or something like that. You can have that at the end of the track name using the uh, Z to suffix the track name. But either way, I think that's an important change to make. So back to the action list, let's find the reamp single track mono, edit the action find my prefix action that's prefix reamp and that goes in there and save that and then here edit prefix reamp save and done so i can select this hit my reamp single track stereo run that and that's added in that track name so I really like this workflow. Uh, previously, I would have to set up a new track, make a send to that track, figure out if I want to have reinsert on the original track or the receiving track, set that track to record output, all these extra steps. And it's a lot of thinking and a, not very creative. So this reduces a lot of the steps. It does the job really quickly. And yeah, so I'm happy to share this with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.